Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this MacBook Air 2017, which doesn't seem to charge properly or switch on properly. So as you can see, when the charge is plugged in, the screen is working and I can use the computer normally, but the battery won't charge. And also very tellingly, this light on the MagSafe 2 charger is not working. So what I'm going to do today is replace the DC IO board and see if that produces a better result for charging and the light should come on when this board is replaced. So I know this is a good board because I took it from a laptop which is working and um, you know this particular issue is very common and it's very common across this particular model. This is the 2017 MacBook Air which is incredibly common so to get access to the laptop, what we need to do is use one of these pentalobe screwdrivers, specifically for MacBooks, um, and then we can take off the bottom panel. So we just uh, go through one by one. There are two longer ones in the center, so just remember these two near the hinge. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure the laptop's completely off and pull out the battery so that we don't short anything. So we're going to be focusing a lot on this little section here. So I'm going to move the laptop a bit close to the center, get my light there. And then we're going to take off the IO board and then replace it with this donor board here. So it's relatively straightforward to do. All we have to do is take off these clips this um, cable for the speaker, I believe. Then what I'm gonna do is use a T5 screwdriver and I'm gonna take out the fan. So um, the fan contains these three screws. It's a very good idea to remember which one is which. So there's a kind of short one in the top left, a kind of, A uh, longer one with a little rim here, and then the bottom one comes out like so. And then you can take out the entire fan like this. So um, you don't have to remove this speaker cable for this because we're just getting here so we can remove this cable. So um, the last T5 screw is this one here. And we remove that. And now we can lift out the, the whole board. Um, so I like to do this because it makes it slightly easier to pull out the last cable, which is right here. So I'm just going to pull this out. Just get these uh, speak, uh, little display cables out of the way first, because they're kind of stuck in there. And then be very careful with this last cable here. You can just peel back the that bit there. And then there's a little latch here. And then that whole black part will just come out. And that's it. And then we have the uh, connection of the, the board there. And then we can take out that board. And putting in the donor board is pretty simple. We can just plug this straight in. and then replace all the cables. So now that we've got the donor board plugged into the socket here on the logic board, we also need to reattach the cable and we can do a really quick test to see if the charger will now actually fit and light up when I plug it in. So let's have a look. Great, it's gone green. So that's um, you know much better than before. I can actually see that from too much light is shining on there. But you can see here that light 
is now green when we plug it in. And so I consider that a big success. So all we had to do was replace this DC in board and I'm gonna check that the battery itself is gonna be charging once I plug that back in. But as far as I can see, the culprit was the DC in board. So all you have to do to get this back in working order is to reassemble everything. So I'm not gonna do that right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plug in this very tricky cable. And then pull that clip down. Then we're gonna align this correctly. I'm going to put this cable through here. Put this speaker cable in here. And then start screwing this in. Then we're going to put the fan back in. put the kind of fat one on the top right. This one, short one on the top left. Then the longer one at the bottom here in the right hand holder. And then remember to pop this cable back in. Like so. And then uh, just double check that this is still all connected and charging. Green light on, good. And then we are ready to plug this power cable back in. And then what we're gonna do is put all the screws back in. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did make use of it, please leave a comment. If you liked it, please subscribe and check out my next tech video.